right, today we're going to talk about statistics. <laughs> um, and a lot of engineering has to do with statistics. What is an average? What is a deviation? What is the absolute max, absolute min, corner cases, all those things. You need to know about statistics in order to make sure your product works all the time. Or when you're writing a data sheet for the product, uh, this is what I can guarantee it to, right? No matter how many I build and how where I ship them in the world, they will always meet the specifications. So statistics are very, very important. And so um, we're going to do an example here. We're going to say, let's say you go ahead and buy 5,000 LED, uh, 5,000 LED, 5,000 resistors. So this is a uh, uh, a reel of 5,000 1K resistors, okay? And um, you say, oh, okay, well they're going to vary. Each one's going to be a little bit different, but if I wire 5,000 of them all in parallel, maybe they'll average out to, uh, to uh, a good value, right? <laughs> um, if you take two resistors and put them end to end, you get double. But then if you take two and two and wire them at the ends, you'll have, you have uh, two here and two here, you end up with the same value. You double it and then you have it by putting them in parallel again. So when you put four, LED, uh, four uh, resistors together, you end up with the same resistor. So let's do that with this one. Let's take all of those resistors out and let's hook them up into fours and we'll hook them all together and uh, we'll keep building it up, building it up, building it up and we'll get a perfect 1K resistor. Well, let's see if that's true. So let's go ahead and measure one resistor. So I'm going to be using a, uh, first, first of all, I'm going to be using a four wire connection. So we have uh, a really, really good measurement. Okay, uh, four wire cables here. Okay, and a Kelvin contact. And we'll be using my Keithley meter, which is super, super accurate. All right. And if we go, I'm on one LED now. It's a, it's a uh, 0.983, not one. If we go to the very next resistor, what I want you to take a look at though is what happens. Um, you see that the resistance falls a little bit and then kind of stabilizes it? Yeah, there's a slight heating effect. Even at these values, there's a slight heating effect uh, where um, you, can, you can see it's even still maybe moving and stuff. So anyway, a lot of times when you make measurements of devices, you have to make them very quickly or you have to let them soak in before you make the measurement. Whatever you do though, you have to be very, very consistent, okay? So if I go to the next, the next one here, you can see once again that it starts out at one value and then starts to fall. So I found that very, very interesting. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and measure 100 resistors and you get to watch me. One, two, three. no, I've already done it. Okay, so <laughs> let's take a look at, the, let's take a look at the data. All right, here's my spreadsheet. So I've measured uh, the values here to five digits. Um, and I was, I didn't put any decimal points because that would just slow me down. So I just put in five digit numbers and then here's the ohms, 981.57, nine 982.73. So I have a hundred resistors. Um, and then uh, this column is uh, sorted. So I put in the smallest to the biggest in this column for, for various reasons I'll show you later. And then the average was uh, 981.2. So nowhere near an average of 1K. So what I wanted to talk about today is what's called lot to lot variation and part to part variation. So you can imagine the people who built these resistors are going to get a certain compound. They're going to mix it up. It's going to be their 1K formula, but it's going to vary from day to day. But in one day, they're, they're going to make a batch, okay? And their batch is all, it's like making cookies. You know, the cookies are all gonna be sweet one day and bitter the next day, because they're gonna be a little bit different every single day. They try to get them close, but there's gonna be a lot to lot variation. So one reel of resistors is one lot. So that lot will average to a certain value, uh, but will it expand all the way, you know, how big will it expand if these are 5% resistors? Uh, you know, we'll expand the 5% or whatever, you know. Um, anyway, this is the average and this is the standard deviation. So if uh, you take the three times the standard deviation, um, you know, you're getting up around five, five ohms different, plus or minus five ohms um, for a uh, 981 ohm resistor. 
Um, let's take a look at the data though, because I think everybody's visual like I am. So let's take, I plotted it here. So here, um, here's the first plot I, I did. Okay, so here are all these resistors. I got one outlier. I don't know if that was a measurement error. It might have been a measurement error, but let's say it's part of the data, but there's one outlier and uh, everybody else is kind of crowded in here, right? And it goes between somewhere around 978 ohms and 985 ohms, okay? So we're kind of bunched, we're kind of bunched up in there. Now, if you sort the data, uh, this is what it looks like. And there's a pretty linear uh, variation of values between the lowest and the highest. It's kind of interesting that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's shaped like this, okay? So um, if you think about this plus or minus, it kind of comes up and then it kind of goes down, right? It has a little roundy bit here. And there's that one outlier at the very, very end. But yeah, um, but again, once again, they're not, they're not centered on 1K, right? This, is the, this particular lot is centered at 981.2 ohms. Another lot, maybe the next day, you know, they get new materials or they readjust. Every time that you probably calibrate at the beginning of a shift, you know, the new operators come in, they get the machine running, they calibrate it, they go, okay, we used our, our golden 1K standard, we put it in there and we calibrated our own meter and everything and all the machines all set up to go. Even the measurement error can be different from lot to lot, um, but certainly the variation of parts is different from lot to lot. Um, and uh, so you need to factor that in. Uh, you might think, okay, I'm gonna build a circuit I'm going to be using a whole bunch of 1K and I'm going to say, I'm going to assume that all those 1Ks are going to vary. You know, I'm not that dumb. They're going to be plus or minus 5%, but they're going to be around 1K. No, this is going to be a lot to lot variation and they'll be clustered around one particular number. Um, and so in this case, it's, it's uh, 981 ohms. And so also, uh, if you go over to your part drawer and you pull out a, a resistor and it's and you, you pull out a 1k and you go oh it's 981 oh I'll just go back and get another one and I'll just, I'll just find that that magic 1k resistor in there well if they all came off of the same reel if you bought them all off a of digikey and they all came off the same reel they're all going to be bunched around a number so you're going to have good yeah good luck trying to find that 1k resistor in there right these are all low um, anyway uh, Message for the day again is lot to lot variation and statistical variation. You got to be careful what you look at.